welcome to the new studio i'm so excited make sure y'all comment below and let me know what you think about it hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Alyssa marie just in case you're new a special welcome to you so today we are talking all about my summer must-haves so this video is going to include five must-have hair products and six must-have skincare products to get you through the entire summer not looking greasy but still looking glowy snatched and beautiful I am also personally a huge advocate for sunscreen. SPF is like an everyday thing for me as I think it should be for you as well. So I will also be including some really great SPF products that I absolutely love and that are also people of color friendly. Oh yeah, so a lot of this is not just about looking good, but also making sure that you're protected and you're being safe all summer long. So we're gonna get into all that, all that good stuff. But if you are new to my channel, before we jump in, just please go ahead and subscribe. I also don't want you to miss any new drops when they come out. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit that notification bell as well. All right, let's get started. All right, now let's jump into the summer must-haves. Honestly, it was so, so hard for me to pick these products, but I wanted to make sure that I'm choosing products that are genuinely must-have for me, like that I cannot live without for the summertime. We gonna look good, we gonna feel good, we gonna be good. It's about to be a good summer no matter what. Even though we're gonna be stuck at home, I still think that these are must-haves for sure. So first for skincare products, I wanna go ahead and start by something that I personally feel is the most important thing that you need for your skin over the summer and that is SPF, honey. You gotta protect your skin from the sun. So I would really just suggest you putting on SPF as part of your morning routine every single day, even if it's cloudy outside. Just make sure that's a part of your routine so that's something that you're never forgetting to put on. I'm telling you, you will thank me later. I know older people now who are just starting to get sunspots on their face, and that is all because of all the sun exposure that they had when they were younger. Like, you don't wanna have to deal with any of that stuff, so if there's one thing you take out of this video, take SPF daily, just add it to your routine, and you'll thank me later, I promise. So I'm actually pretty picky when it comes to sunscreen. I'm actually learning that I'm pretty picky when it comes to a lot of things in general. But yeah, I prefer to use mineral sunscreens as opposed to chemical. I'm not going to go into all the scientific things. I will be writing a blog post about this. So if that blog post is up by the time this video goes out, I will link that in the description box below as well if you'd like to dig a little bit deeper. But basically, I prefer to use mineral sunscreens. It doesn't have all of those harsh chemicals. If you just go on Google and type in sunscreen chemicals, it will it'll tell you everything that you never thought who could possibly be in your sunscreen it is like chemicals that are disrupting to your hormones it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's really bad ever since i learned about that i've just been like all right it's mineral sunscreens for me the one thing about mineral sunscreens is that sometimes they can tend to be a little bit white so i have gone through my fair share of sunscreens and finally found two that are my all-time top favorites i know that they are effective and they also don't leave like a white cast so they are really really great for brown skin, dark skin, people of color. So these are the sunscreens here. This first one is by Verse. This is called their Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen, and this has SPF 35. I really think that SPF 35 is really the minimum that you should do. So that really makes this a great everyday sunscreen. It works really well underneath makeup, and again, it does not leave that white cast as long as you just rub it in properly, and it is so, so great. It also isn't like super, super thick. Like regular sunscreens, especially if you have oily skin, I know you're probably like, oh, I don't want to add more oil to my skin. Like this, I find it really actually like sinks into the skin. It doesn't just like, it doesn't feel like it is actually sitting on top so much. Another thing I actually do love about Verse in general, they have a really great skincare that is affordable and they're a brand that's not only big on using clean ingredients, but they're also big on using like recycled plastic. So for example, on the back of this, this says 79% post-consumer recycled plastic. That's just something that I actually really love. And so if you like that kind of thing as well, then I would definitely suggest Verse for you. All right, the next sunscreen that I would suggest a thousand percent is this by Murad. This is their City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum, and this is SPF 50. So if you are a little bit more prone to burning, especially on your face, then I would definitely suggest this one because it is a little bit stronger. But again, it still is that mineral sunscreen, so you don't have to worry about all those hormone disrupting chemicals being in there. Another thing I love about this Murad sunscreen is that this is part of their vitamin C 
line. All of their vitamin C products have this orange packaging. So not only is it protecting your skin, but it is also applying some vitamin C to your skin, which will over time help to even your skin tone. I would say that in comparison to the Verse, this one is definitely the most lightweight. It is a little bit more watery, which I kind of like, again, because it is lightweight and it doesn't feel super heavy and thick on your skin. If you do live in a more hot, tropical kind of climate, I definitely suggest you go with a stronger SPF. But again, both of these, try tested and true, I keep them both. I really and genuinely love them. And not only for summer, actually, I do this year round. I'm serious about my SPF and I think you should be too. So these are definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, so let's move on to some foundation, some complexion products. There are two foundations that I think are the bomb.com for summer. The first one is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So just for reference, I wear shade 345. It's like a is a bit light but if I just add a little bit of bronzer it all matches really perfectly so that is the shade that I really like to stick with so what I really love about this foundation is the finish if you have combination skin like me or if you run like combination too oily I would 110% recommend you use a more mattifying foundation during the summer y'all know me I don't like the whole flat matte look but the good thing is that this is a soft matte foundation so it doesn't give you that flat matte look but it also prevents you from looking greasy throughout the day because we all know how the summer heat does us all right especially if you have combination or oily skin like I said you just definitely need to stick to something that is soft matte the other foundation that I wanted to suggest is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint and this does have SPF 40 in it which is really cool that's probably my favorite thing about this foundation and it's actually what drew me to purchasing this foundation in the first place and yes the SPF is mineral it doesn't have the nasty chemicals in it Ilia is one of those brands that is just committed to making sure they're using clean ingredients in their products always so when I saw this mineral sunscreen foundation supposed to treat your skin like a serum I was like let's do this say less give it to me this is going to be for my girls who are combination to dry so suggesting Fenty for combination to oily this is definitely going to be better for combination to dry skin it is very very moisturizing which is what I really genuinely love about it because it really looks like skin it's actually what I have on now so you guys can see I have like a nice healthy glow the only thing with this foundation is that you have to make sure that you set it with some powder once you set it with a really really good powder which I'm gonna get into into a second then you will be all good and you won't have to worry about looking super greasy let me just show you guys though because this is a very unique type of foundation it's meant to be sheer to about medium ish coverage again this is what i have on today i do have some dark marks from some acne that i am struggling with at the moment on my chin if you have hormonal acne y'all know the struggle sis but yeah so you can still see a little bit of my dark spots coming in but most days I'm literally okay with that personally it's not every day that I actually need my skin to look flawless sometimes I just want it to look like skin and I just want something lightweight that still snatches me but like obviously not like all the way and this is genuinely perfect so let me just show you guys a little bit of how it looks this is a very unique foundation all right so can you all see this that is how watery this foundation is I literally just do one drop one drop and then one drop here and then I'll just go back in with a little bit of extra dots around my mouth and on my chin area for a little bit of added coverage you don't want to go in too much with this foundation because like I said it is super hydrating and it's just super delicious it's definitely more on the dewy side so if you go too crazy you will end up looking really really greasy but again you can always fix that with some powder which brings me to my next must-haves so let's talk about powder there are two powders that I really really love and I would really suggest to you guys and yes one of them has SPF in it and it's mineral SPF this is by Ilia and I think this is just such a great product I love it so much and I'm gonna tell you why so this is the Ilia radiant translucent powder and it has SPF 20 so I have the shade magic sands and I just love the fact that you get SPF from a powder I think that is awesome there's one thing about mineral sunscreen it's something that you're gonna need to continue reapplying throughout the day to make sure that the coverage is still there now when you have makeup on your face you're not gonna be smearing mineral sunscreen 
on your lunch breaks over your entire week base. Like that's not what you're gonna wanna be doing. But what you can do is blot your face with a little bit of powder so it won't disrupt your makeup, it won't like mess anything up. If anything, it will help you get rid of some of that shine. And then also add some more SPF on top to make sure that you are covered throughout the entire day. I love this. And again, it's Ilia, so we don't have to worry about those nasty chemicals in the sunscreen. It is a mineral SPF and I'm just obsessed. I will say also that these go really well together. So the Ilia foundation with the Ilia powder, they look great. I mean, if I do say so myself. The next powder that I wanted to mention is by Charlotte Tilbury and this is their pressed airbrush flawless finished skin perfecting micro powder so this is a little bit different from a translucent powder it is a micro powder which means that those particles are so so fine and this is honestly what will take your makeup from oh she looks good to damn look at her skin you know what i mean like it just leaves this airbrushed kind of flawless finish and i absolutely love it so what i personally will usually do is and this is what i did today I used this powder to set my concealer, set my foundation and everything, and then I went on over all of this setting with this micro powder on top, and that's what gave me the nice airbrushed finish. I like to focus this more on the places where I don't like to be dewy, so on the inner side here, and then on the outer side here, and then I'll kind of usually just leave this strip here so it can still ball out and be nice and glowy. This just definitely took my makeup game to the next level. Like literally one simple, easy to use product just changed the game for me. Again, 100% must-haves. I just feel so strongly about all of these products that I'm talking about in this video. So yeah, 10 out of 10, recommend. I love this thing, I love it. All right, and then the last skincare product that I wanted to share with you guys today is another product that I do have on. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? It is going to be this Dewy Stick by Ciate London. It is so perfect for a nice, dewy, glossy kind of glow. If you prefer a glow like this, as opposed to like a more powdery, a more pigmented glow, then this is gonna be your go-to girl. Honestly, how this really feels to me is like Vaseline in a stick. And that sounds like really gross and really dewy and like messy, but it like, when you apply it right, it can look real cute. So I've applied this in multiple different ways. Let me just show you guys exactly how the product looks. So you can see it has a twisty everything so you can make it taller. So it's literally very much like a solid form of Vaseline. It does have a teensy, teensy bit of shimmer, but it doesn't really have much pigment to it at all. So again, it just leaves you with this natural looking glow that is just it's so delicious. I love this. I love this so much. You do have to be careful when using this. Just make sure that you don't overdo it and like draw it on your face like that. You don't want to do that because then that will mess up your foundation and it would just be a hot mess express. Sometimes what I will do is I will apply it to my hand like pretty thick and then I'll put my damp beauty blender in it and then I will just dab it on and voila. Today I was feeling a little spicy so I kind of just dabbed it on directly with a stick like this and then use my fingers to just blend it in and that was it. So this is my favorite, favorite dewy stick ever. All right, so now that our skin is all taken care of, we are popping, we are cute, and we are protected, let's talk about hair now. So just like how we spoke about protecting our skin from the summer heat, there are some things that you can do in order to protect your hair from the summer heat as well. So I actually recently discovered this Smart Curl Leave-In Conditioner by Evolve H. And basically, it's just like a leave-in conditioner spray, and on the back of it, it says that it helps to eliminate frizz, while protecting from heat and UV damage. So just by using something simple like this, before you head out, just a quick sh -sh 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 in your hair and that's it, can really make a little bit of a difference when you're going outside. One thing I really love about Evolve Age is that they are so committed to making sure that their ingredients are clean. Can we sense a theme here? I'm definitely all about the clean ingredients. Y'all already know this though. Y'all already know. On the back of their products, it actually says no nasties like parabens, silicones, PEGs, DEAs, artificial dyes, like none of that nasty stuff is in any of their products and they're also cruelty free, gluten free, and vegan. So just in case you're a little curious, this is how it spritz out, okay? I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's like a nice mist, but it's not too misty to where it's not really gonna do anything for your curls. It's like a strong mist, so you will still get that product in there. You will feel the leave-in conditioner working, I generally don't usually like leave-in conditioner sprays, but I really, really actually love this one. So I 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, and then speaking of protecting your hair, treating it nice, treating it with love, 
let's get into some treatments my two favorite treatments of all time at the moment are both by the same company and that is Brio Geo so they have these two treatments that I swear by and the reason why I'm mentioning both of them is because you need both of them in your life honestly so one is more protein based and one is more moisture based and this is why I'm saying you need both because for your hair you always need to find that right balance between protein and moisture like that is super super important you might find that if your hair really is sensitive to heat or struggling in the heat you might find that it might need a little bit more protein love during the summer so maybe instead of doing your protein treatments once a month and then ramp it up and maybe use this one this week this one the next week and just keep going back and switching them that's really what i've been doing lately and i am loving it so let me actually give you the deets on what these are so the one that's more protein heavy is called the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. The first time I used this, I was shook. Shook. It did something so special for my curls. And I also like the fact that it's not just straight protein. It does have a lot of moisture action in there as well. So I feel like this in itself kind of gives you like a really decent balance. I will say I personally don't like to use protein in my hair so often. So I do then go ahead and offset this one with this bad boy, which is their Be Gentle, Be Kind, Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. I was also shook the first time I used this. So, so good, so delicious and juicy as you comb it through your curls. It is just so good. And then it's that type of moisture that starts to give you insane curl definition. Like when you wash it out your hair after leaving it in for a little bit, your curls are just nice and defined and hydrated and just happy. So I genuinely love to balance these two out. We got lots of protein, which will help with damage. And then we got our moisture, which will help with dryness and literally like my top favorite treatment at the moment, especially for summer when your hair might need just a little bit more TLC. All right, and then for my last two products, they are kind of just some styling tips for making sure that your hair doesn't go crazy frizzy as soon as you walk outside. So first, let's talk about the Camille Rose curl maker this is this is life you guys hear me talk about this all the time so the way I've been using this since the hotter months started rolling around I have actually been mixing this in with some lightweight gels so what I'll do for my wash and goes is go in do leave-in conditioner do another gel that's like throughout all of my hair and then I will see all of that goodness in with this bad boy and it is so so good the thing I love about this is that it is pretty hardcore it can leave you with a little bit of a crunch and it will give you insane curl definition and beautiful shiny curls as well but the reason why I like to mix it is so that I don't get a huge amount of crunch I always like to have a good amount of volume with my curl definition so I always make sure to just mix this with lighter weight gels and it is just a dream come true especially in the summer heat like this will keep you in check this will keep your curls together this will keep the frizz away and it will just hold your curls so perfectly I really love this another thing is that Camille Rose in general again with the clean ingredients they use very natural ingredients that you can feel good using and honestly this is one of my favorite natural hair products ever all right and then the last but certainly not least product that I wanted to talk about today is an edge control okay okay this is what I have in my hair right now I'm actually very picky when it comes to edge control I know I've been saying that in this video that I'm picky about everything I'm basically a picky person in general. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. But yes, I am picky, especially when it comes to edge control. I like my edge control to, yes, lay my edges, but I don't like the edge controls that are too stiff, too thick, and like as soon as you lay it on your edge, and like if you want to change the design up a little bit, like you gotta hurry up before it dries, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't like those that are just like too hardcore. And then at the end of the day, you're trying to wash it off and it's not washing off. Your edges are just like stuck like that forever. I personally don't like that. But at the same time, of course, I need some hardcore edge control to get these edges laid when I'm ready. So what I need is an edge control that is super strong and will really freeze my edges in place when I'm ready, but also something that's still movable and easy to use when I'm styling my edges. And I found one, y'all. I found it, the most perfect edge control ever. Honestly, the first time I used it, I was like, what? So without further ado, the edge control that I'm talking about is the Pattern Beauty Edge Control. It's so good, it's so good. So y'all stay tuned for the entire Pattern Beauty Stylers demo and in-depth review. It is coming through on Sunday, this Sunday, yes. 
I will get into much more detail about all the other stylers that I have been using, but definitely the edge control is bay. I did my edges this morning. I went out on the road. I've been in the heat. I came inside. I walked my dog, like all of the above, and my edges are still very much intact, and I love that. I don't have any frizzy flyaways. It's also not flaky. It's just so perfect. And then at the end of the day, as soon as you're ready to take it off, just when you're even washing your face, you just spritz on a little bit of water and then kind of just brush your edges back with your fingers and that's it. They're, it's good, it's gone, and it's not gonna destroy your edges. I love this, I really, really love this. This one took me by surprise. Like I really wasn't expecting it to be this good, but it is that good, okay? And I 10 out of 10 recommend. So yeah, those are all of my summer must-haves at the moment. I'm telling you, I swear by every single product I mentioned in this video. And this is really how I'm keeping my skin and my hair in check for the entire season. If you have your own summer must-haves that you absolutely swear by, help us this out and go ahead and comment them below. Let me see and let's share it with the class. I will get to ordering them ASAP. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope you found it useful. If you did enjoy this, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't in the beginning, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And before you leave, we got two more videos for you to check out right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.